Hey guys, what is up? We're out here getting the Jeep all loaded up. We're heading to Roush Creek this weekend. We're going to do some camping uh, Friday night, and then uh, Saturday we have a guided trail ride with a company called uh, Off-Road Consulting. We're doing their easy, easy green, or hard, hard green, easy blue trail ride. So we'll see how that goes. Roush Creek has, I believe, three badge of honor trails. Uh, one's a green, one's a blue, one's a red. Probably not going to get the red, but we should at least get the green and blue in. That's Trail 11 and Crawler Ridge or Crawl Daddy. One of them, Crawl Daddy or Crawler Ridge. One of them's the red, one of them's the blue. But we'll try to get those in. Uh, Roush Creek seems to be a really cool place. It's I've never been. I've always wanted to go. It should be a really good time. Uh, so you guys are just going to hang out in the garage with me for a minute while I, uh, while I get ready to go out there. And then we'll cut to... Uh, We'll cut to Roush Creek, but uh, for right now, I'm just making sure I got all my all my tools, all my recovery equipment, anything that needs batteries, has batteries, anything that needs to be charged, is charged. Uh, when we do trips like this, this is just going to be a two-day trip, out and uh, going up Friday, coming back Saturday. So one night, um, I bring a basic toolkit with me. It's got, let's open this up real quick to show you. It's got basic hand tools, uh, ratchet set, metric end standard. I got my impact gun, uh, impact sockets for that, set of open end wrenches, mallet, uh, just strap wrench, vice grips, clamps. Uh, I got a multimeter, uh, just a basic toolkit to do whatever trail repairs we need uh, if anything comes up on the on the trail. You actually use that toolkit to take running boards off people's cars and stuff before at trailheads. Uh, I got traction boards. I got my high lift jack that I don't actually use as a jack most of the time. I usually use it as like a big come along. I uh, got my uh, Factor 55 hitch link. Got a couple of soft shackles, a snatch block. Got a kinetic rope. It's a bubble rope. A uh, little little tiny shovel. Got my tire deflators. Uh, the reason I bring the hitch link uh, is because uh, I have this trailer hitch skid um and it's a really nice really nice product i'll i don't remember the company but i think it's drt uh, i'll throw a i'll throw it up on the screen so you can see it's really really nice product really clean but this right here you can't snatch with this these welds and this angle and stuff this is just not a safe a safe thing to snatch with sure you can pull on it um, but i wouldn't do anything with the kinetic rope off of this alone you're going to want to use something designed for that like the the factor 55 hitch link um, over here I got some stuff charging up uh, I have a uh, Midland MXT 275 and the Jeep but I like to bring a bunch of handhelds with me too uh, these are good for letting people who don't have radios oh let me back up you guys are going to get on my case. You can't just lend these out. You need to be licensed. Blah, blah, blah. You're not a ham. Whatever. The FCC police going to show up. I've never ran into them on the trail. <clears throat> so I take these, hand these out to people that don't have radios. But what I really like having them for is when you get out of your car to go spot someone else, you can uh, still talk to them in their vehicle with your handheld. So you're not tethered to your, you're not tethered to your Jeep if you need to get out. Uh, so got those charging up got a bunch of firewood split and uh, it's like 70 something degrees out today this is just absolutely awesome uh but unfortunately we're gonna have a bunch of rain we're gonna have a bunch of rain when we're up at ross creek so we'll see how that goes we'll see how that makes camping uh i'll talk to you guys tomorrow when we're headed out hey guys what's up so I had intended this to be a really cool video with a bunch of shots of us off-roading out at Roush Creek and stuff, but given the given the weather, it was super cold, it rained all day on us, super windy, and I was the only one uh, actually in my in my Jeep with me. Uh, taking a bunch of video pictures just didn't happen. It just it, we were in a guided group that was pretty high pace, uh, but I will say. Roush Creek was absolutely awesome. We did we did a bunch of uh, harder greens and easier blues, and I have to say that's probably the most that I want to take my Jeep on in in this configuration. Uh, it's factory Falcon 33s. It's got uh, the AV two inch lift, and uh, some of the especially the easier blue trails got pretty technical. And uh, I mean we were rubbing 
a lot of stuff a lot of the time. So if you look here, I uh, definitely did a number on uh, the brackets for the lower control arms in the rear. They're both uh, hit a bunch, bent up pretty good. But that's fine, not a big deal. Uh, you can tell, we go around front, that uh, front diff, Front diff took some hits. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but uh, it did. It did some work. Uh, the the mounts for the lower control arms in the front took a little bit of beating, not nearly as bad as the back did. I'm actually really impressed with the factory. The factory rock rails are body mounted, but uh, they did pretty good. They took a couple hard hits and didn't deform or anything. Uh, this this uh, brace, this cross member right here, took a lot of hits and got bent pretty good. So, needless to say, I'm going to get back out to Roush Creek as quickly as I can. But when I go back out, I'm going to be on my I'm going to be on my 37s and uh, have some some skid plates. <clears throat> Anywho, guys, uh, Roush Creek would definitely recommend. Off-Road Consulting did a really good job with our guided ride. If you've never been before, highly recommend you uh, you do a guided ride. It's not that expensive. It's actually cheaper than getting into the park by yourself because uh, you don't have to worry about the membership fee. So uh, we would have been lost without them. I mean, it was good to go out there with somebody who knew their way around. But all in all, great trip. There's a couple things. Smashing the trees, it's fine. <laughs> Maybe we did the same thing. Huh? I know, I, I thought the tree was going to be the obstacle. <laughs> <laughs> like, go right towards him, yeah. Yeah, really drive at the person. <laughs> I didn't slip at all with my lockers. Yeah. <laughs> they make right a, this is the type of obstacle where they make all the difference.
follow the perimeter of this northeast side. Um, so just keep hanging right when you get a chance. Time, watch for the big rocks, drive around them as necessary. Actually, no, I think I got it. Looks like you got it. Yeah, I drugged, dude, but it, it like you said, it was sand, so it really was no big deal. Thank <laughs> you. 